Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up and our Disney Ely Forever adventure continues. Today we're going to take Today we are going to take a look at two of the fashion packs because uh, if I did one fashion pack for video, we would there'd be a lot of videos. Uh, so today we're going to look at uh, one more simple and one a little more uh, out there kind of fashion pack. So we've got the Inspired by Rapunzel. So as I was talking about in my uh, in my Inspired by Ariel video, like I get what they did as far as showing different ways to do Disney bounding fashion. So you can keep it really simple and not obvious, or you could go Mulan and go way more obvious and uh and and so you know oh it's so funny because this is exactly the doll that i wanted to put in this outfit i did not even realize she was on the back of the box i swear to god um so this is the uh the way they've got it styled here and this is how they have it styled here i am going to use ely forever dolls on my uh, inspired by sleeping beauty video i used a barbie just because i wanted to know uh if the clothes you know how well they fit barbie and they fit really damn good uh really 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 good so I am going to use for my inspired by Ariel I'm going to use my extra Jasmine the inspired doll and for the inspired by Sleeping Beauty doll or I'm sorry inspired by Rapunzel I was saying Sleeping Beauty wasn't I I don't remember what I said if I said Rapunzel good if I said Sleeping Beauty sorry I don't know too lazy to go back and do it all over again because hashtag say it with me so profesh it's been a while since I've said that. Um, and so I am going to take my extra Inspired by Belle and put her in the Inspired by Rapunzel fashions. So these are really, really cute. And interestingly enough, same price, but it feels like there's more stuff in this one. But I also feel like they were the same price. I guess. There you go. These are the two looks we are going to put together here behind the scenes. I'm going to do that. I'm grooving to some damn Yankees and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm wondering, sorry, I was just banging my head to a song. I'm wondering if you through the screen will be able to sense that my mood has shifted ever so slightly. <laughs> so let me explain. Parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cool people who buy dolls for kids and yourselves, but specifically for children. Getting these sleeves on dolls whose hands do not are not removable. So just a quick thing. The the removable hands thing was never a thing. Monster High did it. And then I don't know if Bratz even did. I don't know. It did they? But anyway, Monster High did it. And then Rainbow High and OMG brought it in, you know, and now it's, you know, those always have it. Barbie hands don't come off. Disney princesses hands don't don't come off. Most dolls' hands do not come off. And you you need to check, because uh, I was just, it's funny, somebody was, uh, I think it was Zombie X Corn, was talking about how, you know, they nearly ripped the hands off because of, they didn't realize that they weren't pop-out hands. And I saw somebody complaining on the Doll Circle Facebook group about how crappy the new, I don't know if it was the new Disney Princesses, or the, it might have been Disney, or, or Barbies, one of the two, and they had ripped off all of the doll hands, and they were pissed off. And I was like, they don't come off. Doll hands didn't always come off. So, and not all doll hands come off. Now, these doll hands do not come off, but Disney Ely designers and, and, and you know, the engineers, if you are going to make fashion packs that have sleeves that are gathered at the end or like in the, you know, this has got like laces and you need to make the hands removable because I was in such a good mood as you could tell and I was in a sweat. This girl almost lost a thumb. I almost Pope of Greenwich villaged her. I, 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 I was... Mm, trying to get their hands to come out of their sleeves, okay? So, that's... Mm. Um, I already took a rough stand. I'm not sure why. Okay, wait. Oh, I was going to show you guys. So, one way to know if a doll's hands come off or not is to look for this. If they're an articulated doll that has a joint like this, like a hinged joint like that, be careful because 
there is not a peg in there. You cannot pull these off. So just, you know, kind of look for like a very hingy looking hingy hand. And that's usually my clue that, oh, those are not hands that come off. Um, also, you could try pulling them off. And if they don't come off easily, don't force it because you will break them. All right. So we're going to start with the Inspired by Rapunzel doll. So I did, I remember I said in the original uh, Inspired by Belle, which was this doll video, that it looked like her headband you know, because it was sewn on, that it didn't look like it was a headband you could easily put on another doll. I was correct. You see, these are like an arch, and it's a it's 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 a pretty inflexible plastic. Whereas the headband that came in the Inspired by Sleeping Beauty fashion pack is more of a headband shape, and it is flexible. So that's another thing. I'm kind of bummed that the Disney ear headbands uh, don't, you know, aren't going to be as easy to put on other dolls. So that was a little piece of frustration for me. I'm actually sweating. Okay, so this doll, the or not this doll, this fashion pack comes with the cutest journal that I now need to have uh, in human size. So please, please make this as well when you make the accessory packs for grown-ups. Look at it. It looks spiral bound. I don't know that I've ever seen that uh, on a tiny little journal. And look at that. It's got lined pages. That is adorable. And, and then she also came, oddly enough, with another journal, like a little composition notebook. So I'm taking, I'm, I'm like, she's a college student. That's my headcanon here for her. So a couple other things. Um, she looks really cute, right? I mean, in her hair, uh, it does, it is still, when you take the, I still gotta get that thread out of there. But when you take off the headband, her hair is still gathered in a way that it's not gonna come forward and obscure her face, which I do like. So let's start with the, uh, the sweatshirt. So we've got a nice like boat neck here, but, so the doll comes with a cute necklace, but the way the neckline is on the sweatshirt, it, it covers up the necklace because it is a boat neck, so it doesn't lay flat and higher up on her neck, so it can't, it can't do its thing. So it's just always gonna be like that, and that's annoying. I was really, <laughs> I was really loving these laces, which are now a shambles of looseness. Uh, they're supposed to look like the ones on this side, which are still nicely crisscrossed and tight. And look, they even have, you know, stitching, you know, stitch eyelets. And this is real ribbon, and it's very, very pretty gross grain ribbon. But on this side, it's like, this is what it would look like if I wore this shirt, because I would screw up the... Look at this. Do you see this? This is the result of trying to get these hands with this thumb, this detached pinky, and all of the fingers are detached. So they got hooked on every section of ribbon, and then as I got to the bottom, as I'm pushing it out, uh, the guts of the sleeve just came out. And so I have this. So I, I mean, I can cut it and stuff, but... It's just, and I know when I cut this, that this is some excess thread that is holding some stuff together. And, you know, it's just not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. So, just saying. Now, I get that this is a $14 fashion pack. It's $14.99 or $16.99 at the Disney store. I get that. And I am not. I'm not, I just want to be clear. I am not, like, criticizing designers. I'm not saying, you suck. I'm just saying that I know how, well, I sort of think I know how decisions get made about, you know, choices in, in like, why don't the hands come off? Well, that was probably more expensive, okay? And, you know, trying to keep the dolls at a certain price point, but have quality in the clothes and the hair and we've got the inset eyes. I get it. But then if we're going to have hands like that, in the manufacturing process for sleeves, we need to make the inside of the sleeves a smooth run out. That's all I'm saying. We just need to be able to get, cause, 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 yeah. I mean, inspired by, in, in, inspired by Mulan almost lost a thumb. So like, really? Uh, so that's, okay. 
I like the shorts. I do like the shirt. It's a very nice, thick, it's like a, it's like a sweatshirt fabric. I love that it is finished here and it, it's got a nice stretch to it. Really, really, like I would wear this sweatshirt, you know, except longer. But, um, and then these really cute shorts. Love this pattern on the side. Remember, this is inspired by Rapunzel. Right, so we've got those colors and some of those accessories. Really, really cute. The back, she has functional pockets, um, but just like the other shorts we had, the pockets seem a little low on the booty. I, I don't know why. Um, and then she's got this really pretty backpack. The fabric on this backpack, which this is plastic and it doesn't open, but I would love to see this pattern in like a Vera Bradley backpack. I think that is a beautiful pattern. Really, really pretty pattern. And then we go down to the sneakers, which, um, because she doesn't come with socks, if she were walking around Disney with these, first of all, she would get the world's worst shoe bite because they're too big for her feet. But they're too big for her feet, and I have a feeling that uh, kids are gonna, they're gonna fall off when kids are playing with them. I mean, they're kind of hanging on, but, you know. So that's, that's that one. Um, so, you know, if I were giving these, you know, on a scale of, I don't know, what could we, what could we do here? What kind of, uh, you know, um, 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 I don't know, caramel apples. Uh, you know, if I were gonna go on a scale of caramel apples, where 10 caramel apples is like, the best fashion pack ever to one being a piece of garbage. I would put this fashion pack around a six or seven only because of the sleeve situation and her shoes are too big. She needed socks. So maybe like a seven, like a seven. Yeah. So but I love this little notebook thing. This I'm loving. Now, let me move this over here and let's take a look at the Inspired by Mulan doll. So the Inspired by Mulan doll is a gamer. That's that's her her thing. And and I don't know like see I got grouchy. So I became a grouchy old woman in the process of doing this and I'm thinking why is Mulan the gamer? Is there any kind of unconscious bias that said um Asian girl equals gamer. Just saying. Like I said, now I'm becoming a grouchy old woman. But she comes with this cool little gamer magazine. And I was just watching this show last night on Netflix called uh, Seven Days Out. And look at that, though. That's pretty cool. That's cute. And uh, they did a... Um, uh, one of the things that they, one of the events that they showed was uh, League of Legends tournaments. It was so cool. I did not know a hundred million people play League of Legends around the world. A hundred million. That's more people than live in my state. That's like, what, one third of the United States is like a hundred million people, right? I think that's a lot of people. Just thought that was so cool. So I put this on the Inspired by Jasmine doll. Um, and so her beanie uh, it's cute. It's cute. It has a little, a little fabric chrysanthemum on it. I actually got her hair in there. Um, yeah, I brushed it and it went poof, but that's okay. Um, the jacket is very cool. I really love this satin jacket. <laughs> pull that down. It's, it's kind of wrinkling in a strange place. So let's pull that down so you can see that. So we got this really great varsity jacket of course the hat is the hat's gonna need some zhuzhing to stay on because eh, eh, she's just got too much hair um and uh and then you know i mean it's a varsity jacket it's a satin satin varsity jacket like a baseball jacket um look at the front we've got mm, you know all 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 symbols and patterns and colors that we associate with Mulan is the pack, though the pocket isn't real. We've got our little, where is it? A little zipper pull somewhere down here. Um, plastic zipper. It doesn't actually zip up, but you know. Um, and then uh, these sleeves, as you can see, are t they're, they're sewn really tight. And uh, it was whew, getting. I really thought she was going to have to lose a thumb 
and I had to go in there with like tweezers and like get all of the little threads and netting and all kinds of stuff pulled off her hands and I just know that like a kid's not going to be able to do that you know and they might not have the patience to do it so just wanted to you know sort of say that her dress was a big surprise to me her dress is a pleather sh a pleather sh I can't do it <laughs> Take three. Her dress was a really nice surprise. It is, I'm gonna take off the beanie because it's gonna fall off. It is a pleather sheath dress. And it's pink and the gold is like a circuit board pattern. That is very cool. That is a very cool design element. And I love it and it really does go surprisingly well with the colors in this jacket. And then the socks are like a home run. The socks are great. Loving, loving, loving these knee-high, funky socks. Like, I think that's the wow thing that everybody sees when you look at this uh, fashion pack in, in, in its packaging. You see the sneakers and the socks, and you're just like, whoa, so much color. And uh, you can see it's gladiator sneaker sandals, and... I I, I, I'm kind of, they're like gladiator platform sneaker sandals. I've never seen that anywhere before with these fans that, oh, when, and when you look at it from, you know, the other side, it almost looks like she's got wings. Um, or, you know, the other thing it kind of looks like, it kind of looks like uh, she broke her foot <laughs> and she has to wear a boot. Oh my God, I just realized that. That is so funny. But um, I love the green. I love the accents. Now, just a, a heads up. When the first shoe I was trying to put on, see how this is split in the back? It was still fused up at the top. And I, I was, all, you know, I had already done the jacket. And I was like, <laughs> and I could not get her foot in the shoe because the, this part up here was, was fused together still. And I like, so like that. And I, I, I was looking at it and I didn't want to yank on it because I didn't know if it came apart. So luckily, after trying for way too long without thinking, hey, let me look at the other shoe. I looked at the other shoe and saw that it was open. So I split it and then they went right on. Um, but they do look like broken foot boots now that I think about it. But they are also so cool. So cool. Um, I think it's a very, very, very successful look. From a fashion perspective, I think they're both successful, like I said, successful from a fashion perspective. Um, and, and you know, not altogether unsuccessful in a quality. I think $14.99, we've got amazing pieces, we've got amazing colors, amazing fabrics, you know, the stuff is embroidered on and, and that stuff. Let me just put her here for a second. Um, these dolls, you know, they don't come with stands, but they fit really well on the Kaiser Small Waisted Doll Stands. The link uh, is in my description because I use those stands for everything. I even, like I, a lot of my Rainbow High dolls um, and OMGs are on Kaiser stands because you can, you see how this is and it's super flat. You can put your dolls closer together because you can overlap because they're flat and you can't do that with, um, it's just, it's just a huge chunk of her hair just got caught on the other top. <laughs> and her accessories are really cute. So she's got her boba. So she's got some boba right here. It, she doesn't hold it very well. It keeps falling off her hand. But I think from, a, you know, a play pattern, you know, you're just going to put it on a table. And she comes with this really cute translucent purse with, thank you, a fabric strap. It's just like little touches like that that do elevate the quality. Um, and I think it's really cool. My, my only other nitpick is that I wish that the opening in the purse was uh, as wide as this magazine so that you could, you know, have it like sticking out because like that's as far as you can get it in there unless you fold it up. So anyway, I am overall, oh, and I would give this one probably, you know, I would probably give it like eight, eight caramel apples. Just, just for some of the the finishing on the on the sleeves and the thing where the 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 the, the boot 
thing was was fused together but um i think they're very very cute comment down below let me know what you think which fashion pack you liked better and i cannot wait to see you again with more ely forever and i've got more disney princess dolls i've got shadow high i've got so much so much stuff too much stuff I was a bad girl in December. <laughs> I, I got myself a lot of presents. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again real soon. Bye!